Hey guys, uh, tonight we're looking at the RADS bag from Stoic Innovations. Uh, it's Raid, Assault, Defend, Search and Rescue, I think is what the acronym stands for. Um, in reality, it is a, a do-it-all, fanny pack, satchel uh, type setup that I think you guys will really enjoy. Uh, I know there's a handful of other options out there, and uh, some of which I, I have failed to look at, um, but the kind of the most notable is the LBT one. And I think this does a better job at essentially all of the same functions uh, for a much better price. So let's get it on the table and take a look at it and see what this thing can really do. All right, so looking at this uh, Stoic Innovations rad bag, um, don't let the color uh, dissuade you. Uh, he has a whole range of options to choose from. But I didn't really, I, I didn't have a desire to necessarily pair this with anything. So uh, I just got something new to mix it up, All right? Um, this concept is not new. Uh, there's other companies that are making these kind of do-it-all options. However, I think this one is the most functional uh, and well thought out and kind of really does all of those things well. Uh, so let's kind of walk through what you get with this thing and see how these features play out so uh first of all you get you get all the straps as far as i know you're supposed to get all these straps uh i did pay full price i think um when i ordered it from him but i didn't do it off the website i did it through uh messaging so i don't know maybe there was something goofy there but uh there's a, a true h harness here uh it is a, a very minimalist h harness but I'm, I'm totally okay with that for this purpose so you get that uh, and then you get a waist strap uh, for if you're using it as a satchel. Uh, and then you get the, the necessary hardware to make that work. All right, uh, and then what is kind of on the bag and essentially fixed is this uh, shoulder strap here. Uh, so that when you're using it as a satchel, uh, you've got a slightly, slightly wider webbing um, going across your shoulder, which I appreciate. And then there's a pass-through on the back here, uh, so that can tuck in. So that's that's sewn into the bag, uh, but you can always tuck that away. Uh, just disconnect it on this side, uh, pop the buckle in there, and then feed the rest of it in here. So you're going to have a little bit of bulk uh, from your webbing. You could potentially uh, tidy this up a little bit and kind of figure out where you wanted that bulk, uh, and then strap it down with that one wrap that's included, so it just kind of tucks in there as a, a clean uh, strap. All right. What I appreciate is it comes off the bag at a slight angle, uh, so it's going to be a, a pretty comfortable uh, sling bag, but it's not so extreme. I think if you really wanted to wear this thing as a fanny pack, you could. Uh, you would just want to cinch it down a little bit more, uh, and it's going to rest a little bit lower um, on the on the bag side. So you know, if you had it, you know, directly in front, uh, it's going to hang a little bit more over your groin than a, than a typical fanny pack would. Uh, if it was off to your side, I don't think you would hardly notice any issues at all. It would just be, you know, a little bit below uh, your waistline uh, due to the, the angle of the strap, right? So if that makes any sense, you know, let's see here. It's kind of, it's coming up just a little bit, not much at all. Maybe, maybe two, three inches of offset across your body. I don't think it's a big deal. Um, and then I was kind of looking at this. If you really wanted to, you could you could tuck your strap in and probably run a belt through here too. So if you if you tried that and it wasn't working for you, you could just get a simple uh, piece of two inch or one and a half inch webbing and run it straight through this channel, and that would be totally fine. It would probably cost you four or five bucks to put that together. So I don't think that's a showstopper either way. Uh, and then looking at the back, since we're already here, you've got these two tabs up top and these two tabs on the sides there. Uh, so that's where your H harness is going to uh, attach. It would not have a um, a true like back strap on it. Uh, it would just have the the downriggers from the the H harness tying off the sides there. Uh, and then if you don't want the the chest rig harness and you wanted to use it as, sl as a sling bag and have it be a little bit more secure, uh, that's where that back strap comes into play or waist strap. Uh, so you would attach that. Uh, these lower portions here and it would just you know help tether it to your body a little bit more uh, very nice uh, handle on here it's uh, this softer 
uh, one inch webbing. I'm not sure what this is called, uh, but it's, it's very friendly uh, to your hands, especially in these cold winter months where my hands just get torn up. Uh, so I appreciate that kind of webbing. And then there's a, a portion on the back here to use as a mount for uh, danglers. So we've got this uh, green force gear panel here as an example. You know that would that would fit in there well. It's a little long uh, for for how much room you have there, but uh, almost any dangler that I've ever used is going to fit under this panel just fine. This has a a good bit more Velcro there because it's just meant to go inside a plate bag and it'll just you know sit wherever it sits. Um, some of his uh, his Instagram images that he has on this thing, he's got a um, like a ninety twenty two hanging below this thing. I think he's doing that with like the axle subload adapter or something like that. Uh, which I think is pretty smart if you're going to primarily use it as a chest rig to keep your, your medical supplies um, kind of more accessible. Right. Looking at the front of this thing, or I guess we'll, we'll do the bottom over here. you got two drainage uh, grommets there, really just for drainage, what, drainage which is fine. Uh, I'm not huge on arts and crafts on these things, so I think that's all right. Uh, the frontmost portion here, you've got loop on loop. Uh, for a, uh, a magazine insert. So this, we've got this new uh, WTF or Whiskey Tango Foxtrot uh, <clears throat> insert that would drop in there well. Uh, I think most of the Spiritus ones would too. Anything that's, that's hooked on both sides will drop in there. And you can see that would fit three M4 mags just fine. I think you would even have a little bit of wiggle room. So at the end, I'll, I'll throw that in there just so you can see, and you know that I'm not making it up. Uh, but lots of Velcro in there, so if you wanted to put a holster or something in there, it's going to retain it just fine. Uh, you're not going to you're not going to rip out whatever insert you've got there. Uh, and then you've got some elastic off to the sides here, uh, which would retain you know a sharpie or a pen pretty well. Uh, or if you're feeling really squirrely and didn't want to take people's you know the the hot trend of advice right now, you put some needles in there. Uh, but everybody's saying don't carry needles anymore, so whatever. Uh, maybe a pen light would fit in there pretty well. Uh, just, you know, looking at more options because you don't necessarily need two Sharpies handy at all times, right? Uh, and then you've got this flat pocket, which is uh, unlined, right? So just an uh, open pocket there. Good pocket for uh, documents or anything that you might need to put in there that's flat. Maybe a SAM splint uh, just to provide a little bit of body on that front panel. You got lots of options, right? And then uh, you've got the main pocket here. And I think he did a bang up job on the main pocket. Uh, he's got a couple uh, kind of elasticized uh, large pockets there, uh, which could retain some heavier items uh, and keep them a little bit more upright. And then you've got a large loop field uh, on the, the outer portion there. I like that mix. Uh, if you've got all Velcro, uh, inserts can get kind of bulky uh, and a little bit expensive. Uh, if you've got all fixed mount stuff, maybe that's not the configuration that you wanted. So I think half and half is a pretty nice uh, mixture there and a nice happy ground. Okay. Uh, but what I really like is it's all double zippers. So, you know, if you, if you want to keep, you know, a, a pistol in the main portion, uh, you've got double zippers there, so you can rip it open pretty easily, and you could fit, gosh, any pistol you wanted in there uh, without any issues. Uh, for size reference, there you go. There's a, a Glock 19 with a light and a threaded barrel that's going to fit in there just fine. Uh, so you could you could have a real holster and a real pistol in there, and that will retain it uh, and fit it just fine. And like I showed, you know, you can have your your zippers kind of offset on the corner there and just rip it open and have good access to it. Uh, or if you're running it more as a, a chest rig, maybe you want to shove a radio in this pocket and have it kind of a little bit more accessible. Uh, you could do that and then just kind of close it up right up to the radio. And that's not going to let anything else uh, come flying out of there on you. Right, so I think uh, for the, the price, I think he did a really nice job on this thing. You can see it's got... A good bit of depth on it too there. That's probably three, three and a half inches in that main body. Uh, let's do 762 mag for scale. There we go. Just about exactly the same width. All right. Uh, so I think it's a really nice sized bag. I don't think it's excessive. I don't think it's uh, too small. It'll fit uh, plenty of things. 
you could drop a you know a, a med panel in there and that would fit in there just fine and you still got more room for other stuff uh, if you really wanted to you could you could kind of get a slim down med panel in that front pocket and it wouldn't necessarily have any retention on it but it would just be snug you know if you didn't need magazines or something like that uh, but you got lots of options on this thing you, um, you can get you know four four sub gun mags in there a bunch of pistol mags maybe you just want it as a range bag uh, you could have your your pistol inside and your your ammo in this uh, front pocket and it would fit it all just fine i don't know i just saw these laying around i don't know if this would be sensical but you know you could shove some shears in there i think they would lay fairly flat turn sideways there you go shears and a sharpie sure i don't know but i really do think you did a, a nice job on this i think the the h harness is perfectly adequate uh and it it folds up fairly small uh, if you wanted to kind of keep all of your options open those will tuck into one of these internal pockets pretty cleanly and then you've got the rest of this to do with as you please uh, or you just throw them in the bottom however you want to work it um, if we're looking a little bit more admin purposes let's see this this right in the rain setup here would fit in the front flap that would be that'd be pretty pretty all right right there keep that handy uh, and then maybe you just got some some trinkets inside uh, otherwise it'll fit in there just fine i really don't have any any issues with this thing that i can think of um that i would do differently um looking at it man i don't even know there's there's always something you could do differently maybe maybe reverse these uh so the holster if you're using a holster is up against your body that would really be about the only thing major that i could think of uh, but double zippers all around um not, don't necessarily need the the velcro on the face there um, if that wasn't there it would be a little bit more uh you know less questions potentially to be asked i don't know just nitpicking at this point because i think you did such a nice job on it so if you're not familiar with stoic innovations uh check him out on youtube his website's under maintenance right now i was just trying to trying to get on there to verify the price and it looks like it's down but uh he does have an instagram page uh with lots of other great things we've already done his med board in the past um definitely check him out he's got really cool stuff and and seems like fairly fairly fair pricing uh considering it's a one-man show so uh, thanks to Stoke Innovations for potentially uh, beating the lead time on this. Uh, that would that would be the only thing giving me any bias here, and I'm so far behind on videos that I can't even really say that would that would cause any bias there. So, thanks again. Hopefully, you guys uh, learned something and uh, check it out.